Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's vlog is going to be a really fun one. I'm going to do um, old wives tale gender predictions to see if we can have a better understanding if baby is a boy or a girl. I am still waiting on the results from the uh, sneak peek test and I still haven't really decided if I want to know the results or if we're just going to wait for the gender reveal. We are going to have a gender reveal on Easter. So that's like two weeks from today, I think. So um, yeah, I thought now would be a great time to do some gender predictions. So here we go. So I found 10 different gender predictions online. There's a ton of them, but these are the 10 that I thought were the best, I guess. Um, and I'll tell you each one and then I'll let you know if it's a girl or a boy result. Okay, are you ready? Number one, the Chinese gender chart prediction. So this is one that is very easy to do. Um, it goes off of the Chinese calendar, Chinese gender predictor calendar, hence the name. So it goes off, It um, the gender is determined on the month that the baby was conceived in. So for me, it would be December and how old the mom is. And then you just kind of go on this chart online. I can put a picture of it in here. And it will tell you um, what the result is. So again, I conceived this baby in December and my age is 26. So because of that and looking at the chart, it turned out to be a girl. So that's one for girl and none for boys so far. Number two, this is the beauty uh, gender prediction. So this one, if you have a lot of pimples on your face, if you've had a lot of breakouts, blemishes, swelling, um, anything like that during the pregnancy, then it's more girl. If your face has been basically kind of consistent and not that much of like a breakout or anything, then it means it's a boy. So for this pregnancy, as I've said in all of my updates, bump dates, um, whatever you want to call them, I have been dealing with acne breakouts like crazy. As you can see, even on my face now, I have acne. So because of that, it is leaning towards girl. So that is two for girls and none for boys so far. Number three is the um, ring swing. This one um, I recorded later, so I'll just input that clip here. Okay, so for this gender prediction, we are gonna do the ring swing prediction. And so basically you take mom's hair, a piece of hair, so I got a piece of my hair, and uh, your wedding ring which I now have two because of the whole story. I had a vlog about it, go back a couple of vlogs if you wanna know the story of it. But anyway, I just, I'm just using one of them. Anthony is gonna help me <laughs> because for this one I have to lay down and then Anthony's gonna take, I, you thread your hair, a piece of your hair through your ring. He will hold it over my belly. <laughs> He's doing the Macarena <laughs> and depending on the way it swings depends on the gender so should i tell you it or should i not no i know it if it swings back and forth blah 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 if it yeah if it, so if it circles it's one gender and if it goes just back and forth then it's another gender so let's just see what it is okay ready go Ooh, that looks like it's back and forth oh no it looks like it's in a circle Circle. Oh yeah, it's definitely circling. And circle means boy. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so as you can see, the ring swing determined that the ring was going in circles instead of just back and forth, which means it would be a boy. So that's two for girls and one for boy. Number four is the cravings gender prediction. So they say if you are craving sweet things, then it's a girl. And if you are craving salty things, then it's a boy. So I was kind of mixed on this one when I thought about it because I'm always craving sweet things. I love 
cookies and ice cream and all of that. I did give up ice cream for Lent, so I've been really craving that, but I don't know if that's just because it's Lent or pregnancy. Um, but even when I'm not pregnant, like I really want sweets all the time. But when I started thinking about salty, I usually do not like salty things. Like it makes me thirsty, I'm just not about it. However, a while ago, and I think I put it in one of my um, bump dates, I was really craving salty french fries. And even if I think about it now, I could really go for some salty french fries. And usually I don't like salty french fries. Anthony loves whenever we get super salty french fries and he'll even put extra salt on his french fries. And I usually don't care for that. But this time I'm actually like wanting super salty french fries. So I just kind of said, I think I'm craving more salty than sweet. So that means it is a boy. So that is two for girl and two for boy. Number five, this one is sympathy weight. So it says if your husband either gains weight or loses weight while during your pregnancy, that can determine the gender. If your husband gains weight, then it's a girl. And if your husband loses weight, then it's a boy. Now this one kind of isn't fair because of this whole coronavirus. We've been stuck in our homes and so we've all been eating a lot more because what else is there to do and the food is very accessible. So Anthony has says he's gained more than lost, although he says it's pretty much even. So that would determine girl, but I don't know if it's really true or not, just because we are cooped in the house for coronavirus, but I'll give it to the girls. Number six, this is morning sickness. So they say if you have really bad morning sickness, um, then the baby is more likely to be a girl. If you have little to no or absolutely none at all morning sickness, then they say you're gonna have a boy. So contrary to what Anthony thinks, I feel like my morning sickness this pregnancy was a lot worse than when I was pregnant with Gray. Um, there were a lot of days in the beginning where I was just on the couch. I didn't want to get up. I didn't want to eat anything, um, which did happen with Grayson in my first pregnancy, it's true. But there were just a lot of times where I was just kind of like thinking like, I don't even know if I want to get pregnant anymore, if this is how bad it's going to be. And like, I didn't even want to look at my pregnancy apps because it would just remind me of the pregnancy. And then I would just think of the nausea again and be more nauseous. So I feel like my nausea was worse this time. I guess it's up for debate, but since I'm pregnant, I'm gonna say I was more nauseous this time. So with that morning sickness, that's another girl, which means we are now at four for girl and two for boy. Number seven, this one is the Mayan calendar. So kind of similar to the uh, Chinese gender calendar, the Mayan, I guess, also have a gender calendar and it can help predict the gender of your baby. Um, so this one, and I wrote it down, so you'll have to excuse me, I'm going to read off of my piece of paper. So if both the age of mom and the number of the month conceived are both even or both odd, then it's girl. If the age is odd and the month is even or vice versa, then it's boy. So we conceived in December, which is the 12th month, an even number, and I am 26, which is a even number as well. So because both numbers are both even, that would mean that it is a girl. So we are at five girls and two boys now. Number eight, this is breast size, which I've never heard of this one before, so I wanted to do it. And I don't think I did this one when I was pregnant with Gray. So apparently, if your right breast is larger than your left, then that means it's a girl. If your left is bigger than your right, then it's a boy. I don't know how right this gender prediction is, but <laughs> we'll just go along with it. Um, <laughs> my right breast is a little larger than my left, which means it would be a girl. So we are at six girl and two boy. So as you can see, girl is kind of taking off. <laughs> Definitely more girl than boy. We still have two more gender predictions to go. Um, these ones I'm gonna do in a different room just cause they um, have to do with other things. But um, yeah, so far girl is winning. 
I did, I do still think it is a girl. I have mother's intuition that it's a girl, but it could be a boy. So we will see what these last two predictions say. Okay guys, so the last two gender prediction tests that I have are gonna be done here in the bathroom because they have to do with using my urine, which is obviously like not the best. I mean, it's like not the prettiest thing to look at. So if you don't wanna see stuff to do with my urine, you can just stop watching this video now. Girls are ahead by one, two, three, four, five, six six to two. So um, if you want to just say girls have won, then that's fine. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to do um, a test with Drano and then a test with baking soda and see what comes out of it. So the first test I have is Drano. So you put a little bit of Drano in a cup and then a little bit of your urine in the cup. And then if the Drano turns green, then it's a girl. If the Drano turns blue, then it's a boy. So let's see what happens. So I have my Drano, it's like Max gel, I don't know, we just use it sometimes when the bathtub gets plugged up with like my hair. So let me pour some into this clear glass. So I'm just going to pour a little bit. It is clear, so. Alright. And then I am going to pour, let me move this out of the way. So you can get a good view of it. Okay, so I am gonna pour a little bit of my urine into it. I just poured a little bit more into it because I don't really see anything happening. <laughs> so it's not really changing color. <laughs> it's just staying yellow. So maybe I'll come back to it. I don't know. Maybe the Drano's the wrong kind? So we'll just leave that there for now and see if it changes color, and if not, then it's a wash. Um, but we'll do the baking soda test. So um, for the baking soda, you just put some baking soda into your urine. If the, baking so if the combination fizzes, then it's a boy. If there's no fizz, then it's a girl. So I'll put some in, and we'll see what happens. So I have my baking soda. It is a little bit old. I don't know how long I've had it, but I figure it'll be all right. So this is my cup full of urine. I'll, I won't show you guys because that's just gross. And then I'll just pour a little bit into it and see what happens. So I'll just show you guys what it looks like in here. Um, it looks like there's no fizz. Nothing is happening. So that would indicate that it is a girl. So we'll say the baking soda test turned girl, um, which makes it seven girls and two boys. And then coming back to the Drano, <laughs> it's the same. Um, it hasn't really changed color. It kind of looks green on camera, but in person it just looks yellow. I don't know, maybe I should like try to mix it up. I don't know if that'll help. This is like so gross. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really don't see it change. It just looks yellow. So it's just looking yellow. It's not looking green or blue. I don't know if I got like a weird kind of Drano because it was clear. Maybe, maybe Drano's supposed to be blue. I don't really know, <laughs> but um, we'll just give that one a zero. <laughs> so we'll just end up with nine results. 
And so what we ended up with was seven girl results and two boy results. Now, if you go back to my video when we did the gender tests when I was pregnant with Grayson, the results were very similar. Um, I think girls might have won out or boys. It was very close the whole time. This one, obviously it's strongly leaning towards a girl. Um, so maybe it is a girl, maybe it's not. Maybe these are just fun old wives tales that people like to do for fun. I am more quarantined, so what is what else is there to do? Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below. Do you think I'm having a boy or a girl? Did you do any of these tests? Were they right? Um, let me know. Um, I'm still thinking it's a girl. We will see. Yeah, the Drano test was not cool. And last time we did the Drano test, I know I did it with Grayson, but I feel like the Drano wasn't clear. It was like blue. So I think I just got weird Drano. I don't know, but I can't go to the store and check it because we're supposed to stay home because we're quarantined. So <laughs> sorry, we're just gonna end up with nine results. Um, either way, if it would have been boy, the girl results were still more than the boys, so I guess it doesn't really matter, but yeah, we're just gonna say maybe it's a girl. So yeah, again, um, I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!